students, now let us look at the market structure for railroads. So we could have intramodal and intermodal competition. So what could that be? That is the differentiated oligopoly. So there would be a small number of large railroads. Few market areas are served by multiple railroads. So yahan par, jahan par shareholders aapke paas railroad industry mein maujood ho. What will happen? You could have a differentiated, differentiated oligopoly ki jab aap baat kar rahe hai. So then you are talking about a small number of large railroads. And fewer markets are actually served by the multiple railroads. So you have a small market, hai, market area is ke liye specified. Hai. And you have multiple railroads to actually serve it. So you are actually talking about the differentiated oligopoly. And the intermodal competition would be about the major source of competition in the industry, particularly from the motor carrier industry for non-bulk traffic. So now generally consider railroad as one competing market. So uske against your intermodal competition, mein jo sabse bada competitor hai, that is the motor carriers. Motor carriers hai aapke paas. So this is the intermodal competition. Can I be more competitive? in terms of pricing and service than the other competitor, the competitor being the motor carrier. So motor carrier say against aapki competency would be actually, uh, that will make that mode more attractive. So ye aapki pricing par hi depend kar rahe. So intermodal competition, so it depends on many factors. Lekin jo important factor hai, wo of course, ji the length hai, length of that route, us routing ki aapke paas length kitni hai, us par bhi depend kar raha hai. And of course, the pricing and service factors, ye dono cheezo par depend karega. Then intramodal competition would be the reduced intramodal competition due to mergers with selective competition between railroads serving the same geographical region. Aisa kahi countries mein maujood hai, jahan par aapke paas ye it's kind of a deregulated or privatized scenario, but not in the countries where rails would actually be owned by the government. So, wahan par to nahi hai, wahan par to aapke paas you would have the intermodal competition, yani uh, rail as a competitor of motor vehicles, or that could be by sea or by agar uske saath clash karta hai uska routing. But intramodal, in some countries, if there are like comp if there is a competition then it would be between the railroads serving the same geographical region. So, on railroads ke darmiyan mein, jo ke ek hi geographical region ko uh, serve kar rahe Now, that is important uh, when you are in Europe, jahan par multiple railroads could be connecting the same location. So, fewer markets would be there and multiple railroads would be serving it. So, wahan par aapke paas intramodal competition could be uh, one scenario. Otherwise, in countries where there is a, a like monopoly for the railroad, it would be intermodal competition only. Thank you.